In mathematics, a commutation theorem explicitly identifies the commutant of a specific von Neumann algebra acting on a Hilbert space in the presence of a trace. The first such result was proved by F. J. Murray and John von Neumann in the 1930s and applies to the von Neumann algebra generated by a discrete group or by the dynamical system associated with a measurable transformation preserving a probability measure. Another important application is in the theory of unitary representations of unimodular locally compact groups, where the theory has been applied to the regular representation and other closely related representations. In particular this framework led to an abstract version of the Plancherel theorem for unimodular locally compact groups due to Irving Siegel and Forrest Steinspring and an abstract Plancherel theorem for spherical functions associated with a Gelfand pair due to Roger Godement. Their work was put in final form in the 1950s by Jacques Dixmere as part of the theory of Hilbert algebras. It was not until the late 1960s, prompted partly by results in algebraic quantum field theory and quantum statistical mechanics due to the school of Rudolf Haag, that the more general non-tracial Tomita Takasaki theory was developed, heralding a new era in the theory of von Neumann algebras. Topic: <laughs> Commutation theorem for finite traces. Let H be a Hilbert space and M a von Neumann algebra on H with a unit vector ω such that M ω is dense in H M ω is dense in H, where M denotes the commutant of M ab ω, omega, omega equals, bar ω, omega, omega for all A, B in M the vector ω is called a cyclic separating trace vector. It is called a trace vector because the last condition means that the matrix coefficient corresponding to omega defines a tracial state on M. It is called cyclic since omega generates H as a topological M module. It is called separating because if a omega topic zero for a in M, then am omega equals zero, and hence a. Zero. It follows that the map J A Omega equals a Omega display style ya Omega equals a caret asterisk Omega. Fruer in M defines a conjugate linear isometry of H with square the identity J2 equals I. The operator J is usually called the modular conjugation operator. It is immediately verified that J M J and M commute on the subspace M omega, so that J M J M display style J M J subset M caret prime the commutation theorem of Murray and von Neumann states that one of the easiest ways to see this is to introduce K, the closure of the real subspace MSA omega, where MSA denotes the self-adjoint elements in M. It follows that H equals K I K display style H equals K O plus I an orthogonal direct sum for the real part of inner product. This is just the real orthogonal decomposition for the plus or minus one eigenspaces of J. On the other hand for A in MSA and B in Emsa, the inner product ab omega, omega is real, because ab is self-adjoint. Hence K is unaltered if M is replaced by M. In particular omega is a trace vector for m and j is unaltered if m is replaced by m. So the opposite inclusion j m j m display style j m caret prime j subset m follows by reversing the roles of m and m. Topic Examples 
One of the simplest cases of the commutation theorem, where it can easily be seen directly, is that of a finite group γ acting on the finite dimensional inner product space 2 γ by the left and right regular representations λ and ρ. These unitary representations are given by the formulas λ G F X equals F G minus one X row G F X equals F X G Display style lambda g f x equals f g caret minus one x rho g f x equals f x g for f in two gamma display style l caret two gamma and the commutation theorem implies that lambda gamma equals rho gamma Rho gamma equals lambda gamma display style lambda gamma caret prime prime equals rho gamma caret prime rho gamma caret prime prime equals lambda gamma caret prime. The operator J is given by the formula J F G equals F G minus one Display style J F G equals overline F G carrot minus one. Exactly the same results remain true if gamma is allowed to be any countable discrete group. The von Neumann algebra lambda gamma is usually called the group von Neumann algebra of gamma. Another important example is provided by a probability space x mu. The abelian von Neumann algebra a. Topic L infinity x mu acts by multiplication operators on H. L2 x mu and the constant function 1 is a cyclic separating trace vector it follows that a equals a display style a caret prime equals a so that a is a maximal abelian subalgebra of bh the von neumann algebra of all bounded operators on h the third class of examples combines the above two Coming from ergodic theory, it was one of von Neumann's original motivations for studying von Neumann algebras. Let x mu be a probability space and let gamma be a countable discrete group of measure preserving transformations of x mu. The group therefore acts unitarily on the Hilbert space H equals L2 x mu according to the formula U G F x equals f g minus 1 x display style u underscore g f x equals f g caret minus 1 x for f in h and normalizes the abelian von neumann algebra a equals l infinity x mu let h one equals H two Gamma Display style H underscore one equals H O times L carrot two Gamma A tensor product of Hilbert spaces. The group measure space construction or crossed product von Neumann algebra M equals a Gamma Display style m equals a r times gamma is defined to be the von Neumann algebra on H one generated by the algebra a i 
display style a o times i and the normalizing operators u g lambda g display style u underscore g o times lambda g the vector omega equals 1 delta 1 display style omega equals 1 o times delta underscore 1 is a cyclic separating trace vector moreover the modular conjugation operator j and commutant m can be explicitly identified one of the most important cases of the group measure space construction is when gamma is the group of integers z ie the case of a single invertible measurable transformation t here t must preserve the probability measure mu Semifinite traces are required to handle the case when T or more generally gamma only preserves an infinite equivalent measure, and the full force of the Tomita-Takasaki theory is required when there is no invariant measure in the equivalence class, even though the equivalence class of the measure is preserved by T or gamma. Topic commutation theorem for semi-finite traces Let M be a von Neumann algebra and M plus the set of positive operators in M by definition, a semi-finite trace or sometimes just trace on M is a functional tau from M plus into 0, infinity such that tau lambda a plus mu b equals lambda tau plus mu tau b display style tau lambda a plus mu b equals lambda tau a plus mu tau b for a b in M plus and lambda mu zero semilinearity tau uau equals tau a display style tau uau caret asterisk equals tau a for a in m plus and u a unitary operator in m unitary invariance tau is completely additive on orthogonal families of projections in m normality each projection in m is as orthogonal direct sum of projections with finite trace semifiniteness if in addition tau is non-zero on every non-zero projection then tau is called a faithful trace. If tau is a faithful trace on M, let H equals L2 M tau be the Hilbert space completion of the inner product space M0 equals a element of M tau a infinity display style M underscore 0 equals a in M tau a caret asterisk with respect to the inner product A B equals tau B a display style A B equals tau B caret asterisk a the von Neumann algebra M acts by left multiplication on A and can be identified with its image. Let J A equals a display style yar equals a caret asterisk for a in M O. The operator J is again called the modular conjugation operator and extends to a conjugate linear isometry of H satisfying J2 equals I. The commutation theorem of Murray and von Neumann is again valid in this case. This result can be proved directly by a variety of methods, but follows immediately from the result for finite traces, by repeated use of the following elementary fact. If M1 Display style subsetec M two are two von Neumann algebras such that P n M one. Topic P n M two for a family of projections P n in the commutant of M one increasing to I in the strong operator topology, then M one M two. Topic: Hilbert algebras. The theory of Hilbert algebras was introduced by Goldman under the name unitary algebras. Siegel and Dixmere to formalize the classical method of defining the trace for trace class operators starting from Hilbert-Schmidt operators. Applications in the representation theory of groups naturally lead to examples of Hilbert algebras. Every von Neumann algebra endowed with a semi-finite trace has a canonical completed or full 
Hilbert algebra associated with it, and conversely a completed Hilbert algebra of exactly this form can be canonically associated with every Hilbert algebra. The theory of Hilbert algebras can be used to deduce the commutation theorems of Murray and von Neumann. Equally well, the main results on Hilbert algebras can also be deduced directly from the commutation theorems for traces. The theory of Hilbert algebras was generalized by Takasaki as a tool for proving commutation theorems for semifinite weights in Tomita Takasaki theory. They can be dispensed with when dealing with states. Topic. Definition A Hilbert algebra is an algebra a display style math frac a with involution xx asterisk and an inner product, such that a b equals b asterisk a asterisk for a b in a display style math frac a Left multiplication by a fixed a in a display style math frac a is a bounded operator. Asterisk is the adjoint. In other words, x y z equals y x asterisk z. The linear span of all products x y is dense in a display style math frac a. Topic Examples The Hilbert Schmidt operators on an infinite dimensional Hilbert space form a Hilbert algebra with inner product A, B equals TR, B asterisk A. If x, mu is an infinite measure space, the algebra L infinity x display style cap L2 x is a Hilbert algebra with the usual inner product from L2 x. If M is a von Neumann algebra with faithful semifinite trace tau, then the asterisk subalgebra M O defined above is a Hilbert algebra with inner product A B equals tau B asterisk A. If G is a unimodular locally compact group, the convolution algebra L1 G display style cap L2 G is a Hilbert algebra with the usual inner product from L2 G. If G K is a Gelfand pair, the convolution algebra L1 K G K display style cap L2 K G K is a Hilbert algebra with the usual inner product from L2 G. Here L P K G K denotes the closed subspace of K by invariant functions in L P G. Any dense asterisk subalgebra of a Hilbert algebra is also a Hilbert algebra. Topic: <laughs> Properties. Let H be the Hilbert space completion of a display style math frac a with respect to the inner product and let J denote the extension of the involution to a conjugate linear involution of H define a representation λ and an anti-representation ρ of a math frac a on itself by left and right multiplication λ a x equals a x Row A X equals X A display style lambda A X equals X row A X equals X A. These actions extend continuously to actions on H. In this case, the commutation theorem for Hilbert algebras states that, moreover, if M equals lambda display style m equals lambda math frac a caret prime prime the von neumann algebra generated by the operators lambda a then these results were proved independently by godmund 1954 and siegel 1953 the proof relies on the notion of bounded elements 
in the Hilbert space completion H an element of X in H is said to be bounded relative to a display style math frac a if the mapper X A of a display style math frac a into H extends to a bounded operator on H denoted by lambda X in this case it is straightforward to prove that Jx is also a bounded element, denoted x asterisk, and lambda x asterisk equals lambda x asterisk. A ax is given by the bounded operator rho x equals j lambda x asterisk j on h. M is generated by the rho x s with x bounded. Lambda x and rho y commute for x y bounded. The commutation theorem follows immediately from the last assertion. In particular, m equals lambda b. Display style math frac b. The space of all bounded elements b. Display style math frac b. Forms a Hilbert algebra containing a. Display style math frac a as a dense asterisk subalgebra. It is said to be completed or full because any element in H bounded relative to B must actually already lie in B The functional tau on M plus defined by tau x equals a A display style tau x equals A A if x equals lambda a asterisk lambda a and infinity otherwise yields a faithful semifinite trace on M with M zero equals B display style M underscore zero equals math frac B thus Topic. See also Von Neumann algebra Affiliated operator Tomita Takasaki theory Notes <laughs> <laughs>